Alrighty guys, started a hive off with two supers. It's a new beekeeper. I keep hearing uh, people saying, you know, start off with a honey super. And then I hear people saying start off with a uh, uh, brood boxes. And <clears throat> so far my experience is that package is about a month older than this package of bees that I got. As you can tell, there's three sections on this one as to where there's only two on that one is there's two brood boxes. So alpha hive has less bees believe it or not and less honeycomb less pollen but just brood basically in their frames they don't like plastic foundations make sure you get them double dipped get the black frames they actually build on them very quick um but i think that was the problem with that hive there uh these are honey harvest um and as you can tell i'm not fond of their boxes uh they're extremely cheap as you can tell they're able to get in and out from where the queen separator is and the gap in the box so that's a problem i'm having right now i'm hoping they propylate that and shut it because i'm only going to open it a few more times so hopefully it'll be uh forming a bond there and uh closing up the gaps hopefully uh anyway between that one and this one, the lower one on this one is a Hoover Hive. The rest are Honey Harvest or Honey Lane Harvest, whatever it is. Um, chickens are getting stung. That's what they get for hanging out underneath the feeder. But, uh, and yeah, see, bees will let your chickens know. Believe me, <laughs> they don't like it. Um, anyway, um, actually, the strangest thing was this tree was filled with hummingbirds. Absolutely filled with hummingbirds yesterday when I had this honey syrup out. It was phenomenal. I've never seen so many hummingbirds. But anyway, another problem I have right now are that this uh, for, uh, gang of guys over here are starting to supersede the queen. I noticed that there's a queen cell built in the middle of one of the frames on uh, the middle frame on that bottom box. Um, and on this one here, they got some drones going. But my problem is I have dragonflies, and the dragonflies are just waiting for my queens to take off and eat them. And if you know anything about dragonflies, anywhere you have water, you have dragonflies. I got these things everywhere. They're, they're everywhere. Uh, just everywhere. Look at them. Uh, these guys have no future with a queen taking off with those things around, and you're really not going to be able to do much to them. Uh, they're really hard to catch, but I do watch where they land and then I spray where they land with a bug killer in hopes, you know, it'll cut them down because I haven't seen any of the bees hanging out where the uh, dragonflies are. But anyway, this experiment was, should I use honey supers to start a hive or brood boxes? So far, my experience as being a new beekeeper is the honey super actually produced more and more bees than the brood boxes starting off. So I was actually surprised to find that out because brood boxes are bigger and allows more room, but it does take more time to fill up the frames. But they are about 50% of what this hive is. And this hive is about a month newer. I got this hive in July 3rd. Uh, my package got mailed to me on July, uh, sorry, June 7th, uh, 2024. That's when I got this package. It is now August 1st today. And there's probably close to 50,000 bees in that, in that hive almost every Every one of those boxes and frames are covered in bees. Um, on like that one, there's about maybe eight frames that are covered in bees, and that's about it. Uh, but I did notice a super cell, uh, super seizure cell of a queen being built in the middle frame on that bottom brood box. But I actually had better outcome starting with just honey supers versus starting with brood. So next time I do a hive, I think I'm going to start off with honey supers, let them strengthen up and fill it, and just go buck wild on it and then maybe I'll have the same result and then the next one after that I will do again with two brood boxes and then see if that exactly does what I think it is so next year I'm going to buy two more um, <clears throat> packages of bees and we're going to see exactly if this little study here over a year is going to be better I'm going to see if these over winter are better I'm going to make sure that they they colonize and do just as good of a job there as they would over on this one here oh, my chickens going right over there by the bees Oh, there they go. They already got tagged. <laughs> it don't take them long to get stung by the bees. So they will let you know, believe me, if you're too dang close. As you can tell, <laughs> these bees are going everywhere. So but anyway, that's the study I did. And I actually found official to start off with just your honey supers versus the brood. Um, that's just my personal opinion. I think that's what I'm going to do.
with the next one to see if it works and the next one after that I'm going to use brood boxes to try to confirm that starting with honey supers is a little better with getting your bees going.